Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having a great day so far. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to get the Chiral Glow and the Squirrel Glow Aether Sands for Alchemist. With fishing, of course. So you could do this with Bonus and for Miner, but I always found Fisher to be the easiest because of less RNG involved. Now, you do not need to be in full 80 gear for this to really work. I did this in my Stormblood gear, and I did just fine. But of course, better stats does mean an easier time of getting the fish and the collectability that you want. Alright, so the fish that you guys are going to be wanting to get is the Vober by Sheer, which is in the northern part of the lake I'm in, in El Meg. And the Porcilla, or Porcelia, in the deep wood swim. You need about 50 collectability for the Porcelia to get 8 out of 8. And for the water brochure, you are going to be needing around 600. Make sure you have your small gig equipped. And we're going to go ahead and spear the fish. Now our goal is to try to get it in the first shot. Veteran trade the first fish that you get. Make sure your collectability is up. Ah, the Porcelia. See, I got it, but unfortunately, it's at, uh, it's at 26. But I'm still going to collect it anyway for the water crystals. And now you're going to be using identical gig. That's why you always will catch the fish from now on. There's a 48. And there's a 46. Alright, you pop a cordial. And then you go to the next one. Now, if you're lucky enough to get that fish on the very first attempt, identical gig it, and then you basically have the whole thing to yourself. Again, veteran trade one of the fish that you get. So you either will get the mirror fish, the gilded bat, bat fish, or the course the porcelia that you're looking for. All right. So if you don't end up getting it within the first two attempts, just complete the uh, the teeming water and then move on. That's where you don't waste your GP. Not really getting as high collectability that I needed, but as long as you get at least five out of eight, you should be good to go. You should be good. All right. So now we're going to go to the northern part of the lake, and we're going to do the Bishir. All right. So when we get there, we will continue. All right. So here we are in the northern part of the lake, and now we're going to be catching Volbert Bashir. Now, I did make a little bit of an error with my collectability for the Poselia. You actually need 45 to get 8 out of 8. So I just wanted to make sure make that clear. Alright, so this one, you can use either small or large gig. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to go with the large one. So hopefully, we get it on the first attempt. Nope. We got Jenna's tier. Which is one of the common ones, so we veteran trade that one. Now we have a 50-50 chance of getting it. There we are. Is that 513. Gonna go ahead and identical gig it. The identical gig is at level 77. I really wish it was a little bit sooner, but. If they did that, then leveling Fisher would be even faster, but... Alright, so we got three of them, which is nice. And basically, that's how you guys catch the Porcelia and the Bobert Bishir. Now, I wouldn't be 
smart if I didn't go ahead and already catch a bunch of these in the, in ahead of time. So we're going to go ahead and start Aetheral Reducting them. So let's do the uh, duds first. As you can see, they give you water crystals. This one's at 35, so I got 6 out of 8 out of 35 collectability. There you are. There's the Skuro Glow Aether Sands from the Porcelia. This is 36, I got 7 out of 8. It's another high quality. This one's 46, so that's 8 out of 8. And 3 high quality. Two normal quality. Four normal quality. Another high quality. This is why I love doing this as a fisher. It's just so less RNG and you get so much faster. I got another four. It's 16 so far. And five, seven normal quality. So that is the Skuro Glow from the Porcelia. Now for the Volber ones. So this is 424, and it's 4 out of 8. So this is a dud. And they gave you ice crystals. This is 513, and that's 5 out of 8. It's another dud. It's 585, so it's 7 out of 8. Another dud. This is 662, it's 8 out of 8. There you are. High quality Chiro Glow Aether Sand. Another dud. Very high quality. Very nice. Too high quality. Another dud. Another dud. normal one normal high quality two high quality one normal quality and the last one is four normal quality that kind of makes up for all the duds so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns, please put them in the comments section down below. I'm more, more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV Shadowbringers content. And as a reminder, make sure you hit that notification bell next to my subscribe button. This way you guys never miss an upload. And follow me on all of my social media at Zane Lionheart. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. Take care, guys, and happy fishing.